Do you guys own the stock? I, I bought Goldman Sachs recently. I think it's one of the top capital market plays as a shareholder. Um, yes, obviously, sorry to see such a talented uh, executive leave Goldman Sachs, but I feel as though Goldman Sachs is positioned in the right direction now. Um, clearly, since December, they had a little bit of a breakout. You're maintaining that even post earnings. Stock trading at 376. I see the stock going above the November high at 426. I like where they are, and we are thinking about a capital markets recovery. Think Goldman Sachs. Why is you on Goldman too? Yeah, I do. I do. And when you think about what David Solomon has done, uh, he's changed the game plan at Goldman quite a bit. So. You could actually be surprised that more haven't left that did so well under the, the prior business plan, which means he's gone more to an asset management firm. Uh, look, Jim's brother left a few years ago, Mike. Uh, Goldman, it's the culture. It's the people. It's the next person up. So I think David Solomon has done a great job. Waldron is unbelievably well-liked by everybody who comes into contact with him. And by the way, you know, this is not just Goldman. You know, when Staley left J.P. Morgan, we said, oh, no, there goes the heir apparent. Well, thank God, right, because of Jeffrey Epstein. We take a look at Apple. They just lost another key person. They lost Johnny Ives. They lost so many key people. It's interesting we don't talk about those companies, which arguably don't have as deep a bench and don't have, you know, have the talent like Johnny Ives in certain people, not expansive. And we focus more on Goldman, which has one of the strongest cultures, one of the longest dated cultures of any company out there. So to me, we had the same conversation about Goldman, the head of asset management, left about six months ago, and the stock's higher. So these are blips. These are just the normal turn of events at companies. And look, he's made a lot of money over his time. And he goes and he sees, maybe I want to do something over again. Because when you're a banker, you're also an entrepreneur. So that bug hits you, particularly when you've earned the money that Jim Esposito has had, and you have that freedom of choice. Why not?